It is now in 37 states, including here in New York. Aaron's Law, requiring schools implement a program for child sexual abuse prevention education. News Channel Line's Ashley Cafaro takes us to this morning's powerful presentation at Central Square's Paul V. Moore High School from the woman the law is named after. She's strong and brave. Her name is Erin Moren. Both these men threatened me, and I didn't come forward until I found out he was also abusing my little sister. Six years. That's how long Erin was sexually abused. First by her best friend's uncle, and then by a family member. At just 13 years old, Erin broke her silence. Now I've made it my mission to put a face and voice on this silent epidemic and educate people. Nearly a decade ago, Erin introduced Erin's law in her home state of Illinois. Since then, she's traveled from one state capital to another, including New York. It was the 37th state to pass it and the most recent. Um, I told legislators year after year I'm not going away because there are kids in New York waiting to be empowered on a speak up and tell. Now, just a year in, Aaron's law is being taught to kids in New York State, including students K through 8th in Central Square. Identifying sexual abuse, or any abuse for that matter, is the responsibility for all staff members. It's our job. We're legally required as, as, as mandated reporters. When we see something, we have to report it. Aaron has traveled to schools across the country, now adding Central Square to the list. I think it's great that they see the importance of me speaking to their educators because it's my hope to help them identify a child that is being abused, the warning signs to look for. And Erin's mission doesn't end here. She will now be heading to more schools and advocacy centers across the U.S., educating others about child sexual abuse prevention. In Central Square, I'm Ashley Gaffaro, News Channel 9.